Nishane Africa Oliphant is the one you put on when you want a mix of something elegant and dirty and when you want to stand out in a crowd with a scent that no one else has on. Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. If you are brand new to my channel and if you love smelling good, which I know you do, then you gotta make sure to hit that subscribe and that notification bell and please do drop a like on this video. Thank you. So in this video, I am going to take a closer look at Africa Oliphant from Nishane. Some of the notes in Nishane's Africa Oliphant are ambergris, frankincense, myrrh, labdanum, castorium, civet, leather and oud. Africa Oliphant opens with something that smells like a very nuanced kind of incense that is warm and has something earthy about it. It's also a bit musky and sweet with a touch of something resinous. I'm very picky with incense and the wrong kind of incense to me can be a deal breaker but this feels like a more complex kind of incense that is not overly churchy in any way. In just a few minutes the whole thing starts to change. The very top end of the incense gets more smooth while the overall blend turns into something that feels very much like a mix of leather and musk with a prominent dose of animalics to it and a bit of something wood. The dry down has a slight hint of something sweet in it which really helps in making it more attractive and more interesting. It's still very much an earthy, smoky, musky and resinous blend with a focus on leather, incense, musk and animalics and it does feel like a mix of something elegant and something that borders on something dirty. How dirty it is is all up to your background, your experience with fragrance and what you enjoy in scents. But with my experience in scents it's sort of a right at the border. It does not cross into something that is dirty in a bad way. This is dirty done classy. It has this very animalic side to it that is pretty well balanced with the leather and the rest of the notes and the more it dries down the more that sort of a dirtiness turns into something more elegant and classy. Africa Oliphant reminds me of one of my four life fragrances, the now discontinued leather oud from Dior, but without the sweet honey, with much less woodiness and in some ways even less dirtiness, almost like a leather oud light with some changes to it. Africa Oliphant really has that kind of scent you mostly find in niche scents and it really gives me a very unique kind of vibe. It truly feels like a unique kind of class and elegance with a dose of something raw and attractive. I know I'm walking around with something that to some people will be a bit challenging or off-putting yet attractive at the same time and that is a very special feeling. Africa Oliphant is a polarizing scent no doubt. It's not a crazy compliment getter but it does follow the same sort of pattern I've experienced with other more challenging or should I say very different kinds of scents in that when it hits the right nose that person almost becomes obsessed. I've noticed this with almost all my more polarizing scents. In my experience it does not pull in the compliments like crazy but when the scent of it hits the right nose that person can drop some of the most wicked and wild comments you ever heard. In other words this smells really bad to some people and to others insanely sexy. The performance of Africa Oliphant is excellent. Crazy longevity and a very strong projection that would definitely get you noticed. A few sprays goes a long way with this one. So when should you use this perfume? Africa Oliphant is not only niche but the specific vertical within niche that makes it a lot less versatile than most other fragrances. This to me is when you want something different on you and when you don't mind wearing something that it is a bit polarizing. So when you want to smell very different or for those special moments. I personally wear this almost exclusively on more sort of a dressed up occasions together with jeans and a blazer or a suit and tie. I think the elegant side of it goes perfectly with something dressed up and I really enjoy how it's sort of a more polarizing side it goes in contrast with the visuals. So who should buy this perfume? Like I said, Africa Oliphant is a niche and a unique vertical within niche. It's not for everyone and if you are 100% all about designer fragrances that are mass appealing and very easy to wear, 
then stay away from this. If you love niche scents, and specifically those that to some are a bit polarizing with a dirty side to them, and if you enjoy leather, musk and animalics, then this is definitely something to check out. So how am I going to rate this perfume? I think Africa Olifant is a mix of something very elegant and something quite dirty, and it's definitely very unique. I put it on when I want to stand out in a crowd with a scent that I know pretty much no one around me has on. I like it, I think it's a cool scent, and I do like that it's very different. But I do not use it that often. It's simply not a very versatile scent, and it's so unique that it's sometimes hard to find the right occasion to wear it. And that's coming from someone who owns and uses a lot of different polarizing fragrances. I'm simply not in love with it. That doesn't mean that it's bad in any way. It's a great scent. It's just not 100% my kind of scent. Africa Olifant gets an 8 from me. It's a unique and well-made scent that will make you stand out in a crowd for sure, but it is a polarizing scent and it's not for everyone, so make sure you try it before you buy it. So I want to know how you feel about Africa Olifant. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Comment and let me know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification bell and please do drop a like on this video. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.